We're on. Oh, no, we're not on. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, no, y'all good. I don't look like I said. We're live. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, that's all messed up again. Yeah. Hold on. Damn. Hold on. My God. Why is my screen not wider? <laughs> I can't even see nothing on here, man. I don't know if I like this right here. Oh, yeah, I'll wait. I'll wait like I'm an audience. I don't need nothing. What are we waiting on? I mean, if it's on here now, the show's only 52 or 5 notes. Yeah, we got mad bottles and everything. We got a little bit of This thing is always in my way. I don't know if I, I, don't know if I like it. I can't even see nothing. <laughs> Yeah. And we need to flip that record. <laughs> oh, I thought you were doing that on purpose. Nah, it's doing it by itself. Yo, I said, matter of fact, with this show, when you go back from the phone uh, to the phone, uh, the phone's fucked up. What up? So keep it here. We're in the building. In the building. Oh, so you know what I mean? Whatever's playing, have it up here. I'm going you know old me? school, man. Yeah, just, 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 a little pineapple juice. Uh, yeah, you know I mean? Little pea so juice, pea one pineapple oh, juice. Uh, well, yeah, I guess. What you got, screwball? Uh, yeah. Screwball. Yeah, we got a little bit of kettle one up in here too. Kettle one. Everything. I mean, I have a little bullshit, man. Spotlight. Mm. 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 Well, that pineapple's hitting with that. But now you can't, ain't got nothing to it, Bono. It really ain't got no... Yeah, he's definitely kidding. Such a good one. I bought that for nothing. Gotta throw this gum out. I'll be chewing this motherfucker like crazy. I'll be your groovy baby. Uh, whenever y'all ready. Yeah. Good. What's good? What's going on, New London? We back in the building, man. It's Thursday. What's the, let's talk about it, the 411 Dr. J house call in the building. I got Zantia on my side. Hello. You know what I'm saying? It's another yeah. day, another dollar. Another couple dollars. Another couple yeah. dollars. Man. <laughs> I made a couple dollars today. Yes. You know? That's what we want to hear. So, New London, what's going on, New London? Um, just, just to big up, we got the, uh, the, um, the guy over here messing up my uh, thing over here, man. So, I'm trying to go. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we good, we good. So, but well, we good. But New London, what's up, man? We got, we got the, um, the eight U whalers down there in Florida, man. They, they, they taking a trip down to Florida. So I, I wish them luck down there. You know, so hopefully, hopefully they do their thing down there. It's big shout out to the New London whalers, eight U, young boys down there doing their thing. You know what I'm saying? So, and big shout out to that coaching squad down there doing their thing too, man. It's got good coaching squad taking them down there doing their thing. So, um, big shout out to them. Um, but listen, we in the building tonight. We, we in here. We talking. We gonna talk a little trash tonight. Oh, this is gonna be fun you know, tonight. You know, so <laughs> I can't wait. So buckle your seats. <laughs> you know what I mean? And just sit back and relax. We're coming through your eardrums yes. in New London, you know what I'm saying? So, we're going to talk about this. Yes. I mean, it's been a while. I haven't been up here in a while. Yeah. This is 
you know, you know Thanksgiving. Was, last week was Thanksgiving, so you know all that Turkey Day stuff. You know that's over. You know we on to the next thing. So, what, how was your Thanksgiving, though? It was good. It was very quiet for me this year. Just kind of laid low, stayed at home with a friend and my daughter, and I cooked some food, whatever it was that I loved, and that was it. Mm. My boy Josiah checking in, man. All the way out from Texas. My boy checking in. You know what I'm saying? So. Hello. But um, yeah, Thanksgiving was good for me too. Yeah. You know, I, you know what I made? I made some oxtail. <laughs> You've been talking about this <laughs> oxtail you made for a while. I made now. some oxtail. I'm proud of it. I don't typically you know, like oxtail, but I would love to try yours. Listen, the, it was it was crazy. What I what I did with it is uh, I, I I wanted this grill for my job, mm -hmm. man. And it's an $800 Traeger grill. I don't know if you guys know about that grill, but it's it's awesome. Yeah. You know, it smokes at the same time. It, it's like a convection oven in there. So I, I smoked these oxtail for like two hours on 275, nice and low and slow. You know, and then I, I made me a little I juice to it. You know, I put that, then I put it in there with the, the inside the iron pan, threw that in there. Smoked it inside, smoked it again inside the, um, the 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 smoker there, and basically another two and a half hours of that. Uh -uh. So them things came out where they was just falling off the bone up in there. Sounds so good. I don't even <laughs> eat that normally. Listen, that's crazy. You, if you haven't tried oxtail, <laughs> oxtail is like a smoked neck bone. If you don't know about smoked neck bones and all that stuff, smoked neck that. bones <laughs> and greens and collard greens and stuff like mm -hmm. that. You don't know what you're doing out there. No. I'm you ain't, you, you ain't really cooking if you ain't really <laughs> doing that smoke neck bones, man. Nope. You gotta do that smoke neck bones. Thing. What, so. what ne whose neck bones are we smoking? <laughs> oh, we smoke. Oh, first, I want to know. Matter of fact, neck what is eating. what is neck bones even? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like when you got this, can what? somebody like, answer that? What, smoke <laughs> neck bones? Are they are they the, like the neck bone of the lamb or they the neck bone of the cow? Or, come somebody on, somebody help chime us. in. Somebody chime in. Big shout out to my mom out there, Miss Robinson out there in um, Seattle. You know what I'm saying? Coming in. Um, somebody wants to hear some DMX, man. Somebody want to hear a little bit of DMX, DMX. slipping and falling and can't get up. Oh my gosh, you know I, mean? I am not mad at that song. That's a nice song. That is a great one. Who said that? Listen, we're taking all requests, so if you got a request, chime in. But um, a lot of things been going on, man. You know, so. As far as like the world, a lot of things has been going on. You know, P Diddy's going down. Ah, oh, that's been a topic. <laughs> what is going like? Like, what is going on with P Diddy? Why is everybody like dogging P Diddy right now? You know what I'm saying? Like, they say any, they, they got some gay accusations. You know what I mean? They say they don't like to do parties with P Diddy because P Diddy just be feeling up on people and everything at their parties and everything i'm like i mean if one person says it okay who knows but you know, if more you know, than that are saying it I'm then a, who yeah. Re yeah then we really know i'm just telling you like this it's like ever since r kelly went down now everybody's gonna go down everybody feels free now and then it's everybody not, it's feels not taboo free. anymore to say something everybody feels free and protected right now you know what i'm saying so anybody can say anything right now it's free you know just if, you, if somebody didn't touch you back in the day Come on now, you get a little bit of money. You know what I mean? So that's, that's what it's about right now. But um, mm -hmm. we drinking on some Kettle One right now. I got a little bit oh. of Kettle One. Mm -hmm. I don't know if y'all know about this, but this right here is dangerous. <laughs> this Kettle One lemon is. lime is dangerous. It all is I mean, dangerous. it's dangerous because it does. It just tastes like juice. I, I feel like I need to t put more vodka in here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It just tastes like it's just going down. How about peanut butter whiskey, screwball? Come on. I'm dr I drink it like it's juice. It's that's so little, bad. That's a little, yo, you go straight up with it's that so, too. It's so good. That's it, a little it, rough for me. It's not though. It's that's so a little smooth. Rough for me. It tastes like peanut butter. It tastes like I'm okay. drinking peanut butter. It's great. I understand. I feel yeah. you. But listen, um, tonight we going to, a topic tonight is kind of, um, is, is a broad topic, you know. So we talking about basically what the, the, the men that turn a good girl bad, <laughs> you know, the ins and outs of a one-way relationship. Mm -hmm. That's basically what we talking about tonight. The ins and outs of a one-way relationship and, you know, the good... Cause you know it, it's always the it's always the, the woman that usually does all the good stuff, and then there's the guy that doesn't have his stuff together, 
and wants the free loan. So I, I have a, I have a couple stories about this I want to enlighten some people on, and I hope those people that are listening, and I hope that, that they, they might get their stuff together after they get blasted on the radio right now. Oh, um, but I ain't gonna say no names. Okay. I ain't gonna say no names. You know? no I, don't, names. I don't say no names, but <laughs> you know, you, you got to get in when you fit in when you hear this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> If it doesn't apply, let it fly. If, but if it, it doesn't does, apply, let it fly. But, <laughs> but if, if it, it does, <laughs> you, are, you already know who I'm talking about out there. Check on in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and what I mean when I say that is like, you got these, you, you have these women out there. Now, this is this goes back years. I mean, this is going on for years where the woman gets their stuff together. They have their own crib. They got their car. You know what I'm saying? And then they, they, they get with this knucklehead. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, he starts to use the car because he doesn't have a car. <laughs> he, he, he moves in because he doesn't have a place to stay. Mm -hmm. And it just gets into that craziness after that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, so that's, that's, that's what I, room. you know, that's what I'm trying to enlighten on a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I just feel like, uh, I just feel like our strong women out there just need to take a better application when it comes down to these dudes. You know, I, I mean, better I know, I know everybody. Better application. Yeah. Wait, go a back better to application. that. Yeah. yeah. What does that like? What's that mean? What does that mean? Yeah. A, a better, better application. application. It's like you, you when you go into like McDonald's or Burger King or any corporate job, you mm -hmm. fill out an application, right? <laughs> right. Yep. So now, men these days. So if you're gonna, if if you okay. women out there, listen, if you're gonna, if you're gonna get with somebody, pull out the application. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Maybe I pull see. the credit score. Credit score. You know what I'm saying? Pull a credit score or something. Don't just don't just go right into the sack and think that it's gonna think that it's gonna be okay after that. You know what I'm saying? So pull that pull the application and um, make sure you know what you're getting into before you get into it. Because once you get into it and you already into it and you're already further down the row and further down the line, you're hit. You know what I'm saying? Well, when, like how what does a application consist of in like Listen. like a relationship i mean i get what you're saying for sure i mm. mean there's really? standards but the, but there's standards right but you're talking about checking the standards checking yes. them making sure yes. that just make sure you you check the the stand the standards the the background <laughs> and just see what you're <laughs> dealing with at first because you might can make a mistake and get with the wrong dude and it just takes you through a whole whirlwind of like five years of or ten years of kids, that, um, unwed kids and this and that and every it, it could take you into so many things that it'll take you a lot to get back and recoup. Yeah. The the things that you went into. No, definitely. I mean, I went through that younger, way younger in my younger years, and I'm glad I got it over when mm. I was younger because that'll never happen again. That's what I'm saying. So, so that that's that's what I'm talking about when I when I say about you got to take a better application. So first things first, you know, you got got to have a job. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can't take him in the crib if he doesn't have a job. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just cuz he's sling a ling sling a ling a little <laughs> bit, you know what I mean? It doesn't mean <laughs> nothing. It doesn't pay the bill. You guys don't even see my crib. <laughs> about that. They, they have not gotten that far. You know what I'm saying? You know, like, yeah. They don't get that far. That's, that's what I'm saying. You know, oh, I forgot to check in, my man. I got my boy oh, DJ, DJ Bad Boy James back there. Now he's, what's, what's the name now, man? Uh, DJ uh, Bobby Bage. Oh, Bobby, Bobby Bage. <laughs> my boy, my boy Bobby Bage on the wheels is still, I kind of like the way that, I kind of like that way that Bobby rolls Bage. off the tongue. Bobby Bage. Bobby Beige. You know why they call him Bobby Beige? Because he's beige. <laughs> he's not Show tan. <laughs> he's light skinned, but he's beige. You know what I mean? I like it. I like it. I like it. I, like it. I, I messed with it. I messed with it. But yeah, you know, so we don't we don't we don't get into that and we don't get into a few stories and everything about that. And I got a I got a few stories that I want really somebody to hear out there. I ain't gonna say no names. I ain't gonna say no names. Do they tune in every week? I don't know. But it's, this is going to be up for 30 days. Okay. So I'm so sure they days. might be able to see it. Mm -hmm. But for those people that, when you start to hear this story, you're going to know exactly who I'm talking about to a certain circle. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So we're going to get on that. But um, right. we're going to let my boy DJ Bobby Beige get on the wheels of steel and um, do what he do. 
You know what I'm saying? But I appreciate you. Let's go. All right. Hey, you got with headphones though. That's just your But like, perfect. can I hear without it? You got to be able to hear, but you can be able to talk. You know what I mean? Like, that's weird for me. I can't yeah, hear. It. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, now the first couple of years we didn't have headphones, so that was like the norm. <laughs> so I'm a spoiled brat. That was your thing. Yep. <laughs> Everybody would say that that's about good. me, so that's okay. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> I know what I am. <laughs> I know what I am. Okay, <laughs> my... <laughs> I did it. Yo, know, pineapple juice makes like everything better. <laughs> I <laughs> love pineapple juice. <laughs> it's my pineapple I don't like a lot of juices, but pineapple juice. Yeah, it's alcohol. just makes. Like the shit. How about how about pineapple on pizza? <laughs> We were just talking you about know that, right? Look at my, uh, Great, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. it's not it. <laughs> because it is just not, not it. it. No. That's not it. And, and, it what's it good on pizza? Anything's good on pizza, except for pineapple. Except for pineapple. How about, how about when it's voice says <laughs> cherries? cherries. 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 Please don't. Please do not That's just crazy. Cherries on pizza? That's just crazy. Yo, listen, chime in. Will you take a request? So y'all chime in, man. I just don't want them to call that pizza. They can That's call it something pizza. else. That's not pizza. Fruit medley. Anything fruit, um, fruit, fruit, fruit is not going on pizza. Fruit is not going on pizza. I don't care what they call it, but it just can't be. Like, that's ridiculous. That's it. <laughs> it's not pizza. That's it. <laughs> that's it. I want to see who's chiming in out there. I like I like when people ch chime in and it's like, oh you don't get it. you block me, you blocked me, that's why you can't see. Yeah, damn, like damn, close to you though. See, I, I just added another two shots in there and it still doesn't taste like nothing. That's what I'm saying. That's that. That's that. So this kettle one is crazy. Take it easy. You know about this kettle one, Mike? Kettle one is different, man. Kettle one is different. This bottle, you know how much this bottle cost? Twenty nine dollars for this. That's it. That's a huge bottle. That's a huge bottle. Crazy. I'm like, what's this? Where's kettle one so cheap? Tomorrow. I mean, I'm real particular with vodka. It's only really like espresso martini that I can drink. Vodka is rough for me. Yo, big shout out to my boy Josiah. Big shout out to oh, Cheryl Lynn. But you I know? can drink all the whiskey in the world and be fine in the morning. That's how that's how I feel about I'm um. Tired. That's how I feel about um. Cavassier. Oh really? But that's like expensive shit, right? It's supposed to be okay. I'm mm -hmm. supposed to give you honey. I don't know if I'm feeling this computer thing, but I don't know. It looks like it's... I don't know. Yeah. What's up with y'all out there? Y'all good? Where we at? Yeah. I think I got it on my story. Yeah. I, think I, I need to... It's all crazy right now. Mm-hmm. Roll up. You need to roll up. Yo, this right here. You ever tried this right here? That's that new stuff. Forever You. Coconut lime. Vitamin water. Is that that? Oh, yeah. The only, one, the only vitamin water I drink. Oh, the zero one's up. Uh, what do you mean? Oh, that's so gross. Triple X. The only one I drink. This is zero, man. Yeah, put that zero for that, huh? Yeah. Nick, what up, Nick? Badass. What's going on? Nick said he here the back. Yo, do you see the topic up there, man? The topic is how you turn a good, turn a good girl bad, man. The one, the one-sided relationships, man. When the man moves in, drives the girl's car, this and that, everything else, the whole thing, man. You know, you gotta take a better application, girls. That's all I'm talking about. Huh? What you doing? 
think about that. What happens a lot. What? Just like, the, the whole, but, the I whole mean, thing. For me, it's like, when you're younger, I mean, I, I feel like you're naive or whatever. Like, for somebody to go through that, like, my age, like, for me to fall into something like that. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. You're older, yeah, but... Yeah. Sometimes you got this situation where you have a, I mean, I'll, I'll get into it. Yeah, bit. yeah. But, uh, no, no, I, I get it. No, I've been there, done that. I know how it can be, you know. It's, As somebody that this I get. bumping up in these headphones. So good, man. It's so good. Huh? Um, yeah, I mean, growing up a little, like, naive, a little bit on the naive side. Mm. I've been taking advantage of plenty of times. Listen, you can take a picture of whatever you want. Set, put it up. This is like really ridiculous, huh? Brenda likes the new setup. Huh? Brenda likes the new setup. Oh yeah? yeah? How's the new setup look? Does it look different out there? Oh, she likes the setup because she can see both of us, probably. Yeah, see? I like it too. So for now, I can see. The wild hair and everything. All I'm going to do is keep playing with my hair all night. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, all these women in L County. <laughs> they gotta know in L County. Is having a wardrobe yeah. malfunction. No, it's a this so. malfunction. So. Alright, let's go back in. Yeah. Hey. Yo, ain't nothing like that 112. I love 112. That 112, I don't care who you are, if you haven't heard it before, that 112 is the thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Agreed. So, Best. I, I, I'm feeling that, man. Best ever. I'm feeling that, bro. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's from listen, a time, for sure. Big shout out to my man, Nick Irie, man. Hey, listen, man, you going down to Florida, man? You going down to Florida to check them boys or what? Uh, you probably staying up here. But um, check this out. So, listen, I, I want to get in. I want to get into this topic a little bit. So, what I'm talking about is like, like guys that turn a good girl bad. Okay. So this is what I'm talking about. So, you got this girl. She has her own crib. You know, this this may be for a younger aspect, or or if you have kids with this man, and he you you, you feel obligated to take care of the baby daddy and let him stay in the crib, and then you make that wrong move of letting him stay in the crib and not doing the part that he's supposed to do as a man. You know what I'm saying? And just just like. Doing whatever, like staying on, staying in the house, not not paying the bills, not paying nothing, staying in the crib and not paying a dime, bringing all his boys over, smoking up the crib, not taking care of the son, not taking care of the kids, not doing nothing. Honey, that's negative ten. That's huh? doing negative ten. I need to get my boy, uh, bad boy, <laughs> bad boy beige. I think you should be bad boy beige, man. Ooh, bad boy beige. Yes. Bad boy beige. I, think, yeah, I ain't I even think, mad at that. Yeah, I think you should be bad boy beige. You know what I mean? Bad boy beige. Right. We might have we we hit the nail on the, on the head right there. Yeah. You little bad boy beige. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, man. Your name man. Just changed. We just changed you up. We just changed you up. Now you bad boy beige. 
Courtney. You know what I'm saying? The way you say beige, can you say it again? Do it again. Be is it beige or beige? <laughs> It's beige. I think it's beige. It is like, beige. Beige for like a beige. name is probably beige is the color, right? But like it's beige. beige. You said beige. I know like the color, but if you say it like beige, mm. it just puts a little twist okay. to it. What is it? So beige or beige? beige. It's beige. It's beige. No. I'm gonna say beige. All right, I, I say beige. I like but, beige. <laughs> so I have a I have some people. <laughs> so so we need to get my boy bad boy. You got a mic. You got to get to your mic, man. You got to get really close do. to your mic. Oh, you know, get the mic plugged in over You got to get to your mic, man. So, <laughs> well, listen. So he got. So what I'm talking about? I got. I, there's a situation going on right now that's been going on for a long time. You know what I'm saying? There's a there's a hardworking female, a really hardworking female, and I, I got this topic from her. You know what I'm saying? So I got. I, I know a real hardworking female. I mean, this female gets up at six in the morning. Gets her son ready. I mean, granted, her son is, you know, he's in a senior high school right now. He's done, you know what I'm saying? But gets up, gets the kids ready, goes to work, works all day, comes out of work, goes to a second job, works a second job till 9, 10 o'clock at night, and then go home and take care of the son, and then get back up and do the same thing again all five days a week, five days, 24-7, and while the baby daddy is doing absolutely, positively mm -mm. nothing. Mm -mm. <laughs> so, oh, no. and you know what? And you know what? You know the thing is there. The thing is that that they're they're in this situation because mm -hmm. of the son. You know what I'm saying? Because of the kids. It's always what about mean? the kids. He's, he's he's a senior. I understand, but I understand, but it's about the kids. You know, it, you know. Some some women, you know, it's about the kid. They don't want to ruin the relationship, or you know, the kid doesn't want to, you know, doesn't want you to leave. But once doesn't, you know, but well, I mean, is she showing her son any better that you know a man can just lay up and do whatever he wants if he finds the right woman? He, she's, I, you know, it's the it's at that point the lesser of two evils. You can't let your kids see that that's okay because they're gonna grow up and think that's okay, and it's just. You know it's not everybody knows it's not but it's easier to stay but i mean i have a different view on it yeah. I, I have a different view on well, it well she she uh, as one of torres says she is miserable she, she is miserable she, yeah. you know what i mean and it's like you're in this situation where you you just have to stay there in that situation because of the kid you know you don't want to ruin the whole thing you know but the thing is it's like once you turn 18 once he turns 18 and he's out of high school and then, then now it's a time to make a move at that point. So at, as a good parent, you you know, you want to stay in that situation and try to and try to do the situation as much as you can. But when a, when somebody's not bringing something to the table and you're not doing the, the man is not doing the man thing, like what are you doing? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But that's the situation. You know that those are situations but you, you I get into. I honestly feel like the kids is just an excuse to keep it the easy way. It's working. They're paying bills. They're not drowning. They got a roof over their heads. The family's together. But I just think it's an excuse because, mm. like I said, I will forever say it does more harm to the kids to stay in a relationship where you're miserable than to leave and live a happy life. I'm sorry. That's yeah. my answer you all day, so? every day, twice on Sunday. Okay. You think so? Yes. That's I your know. answer all day. Yeah, all day. All right. Yeah. Because it's it's not good. Like, if you want to raise your kids to see healthy relationships so they don't develop the same thing, yeah. would that girl be happy with, with her son doing the same thing, laying up and letting some chick take care of him? I understand, but you got to think. When you're going through... When you're going through so, when you're going through the situation, and you're been in there. this, and you're in the situation, been it's there. different. Been there. It's been different. there. Okay, you've been there. Yeah. Okay, but this person is there. Oh. You know what I'm saying? You've been there, and yeah. you've learned. Yeah. So, that person's in that situation. Now that person is learning. Yeah. The situation. You know what I mean? Yeah. But that, but that right there, you know, that may cost you a lot of stuff a when, lot you, of when stuff. you're in that situation. Time, you know what I'm saying? Energy, so everything, a lot of stuff. <laughs> you know, and then the thing is like you and then the the killer here is like you're not paying no bills. Mm -hmm. You you're bringing your friends over. You you you're smoking off the crib. You 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 know, it, it just gets crazy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that that's the whole thing. You know, it, it's just it 
So yeah. what's your take on it? Like, how long is too long to be dealing with something like that? When is my it take enough excuses? My excuse take on that. Listen, my take on that is like, listen, you gotta first, first, first and foremost, you gotta take a better application. Better you know what I'm saying? You gotta take a better the application. The application has not been taken. It's already a done deal. <laughs> now what? Okay, it's already a done deal. Now what? <laughs> now the application what? is the application is already went through. You you got the People job. People get fired regularly, so. You I got mean, the job, but the thing fired. is, okay, you gonna you, oh so so what happens when you're about to get fired and then you just put another baby in there, and then you get pregnant again? Mm-hmm. Now what? Yeah. Well, okay. I mean, all those fired. all those female emotions and all those stuff come back, mm-hmm. and now you're back in a situation again. Mm-hmm. So that's what that's what that's the situations that happen. Mm-hmm. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And 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 for and for a man. To take advantage of that situation yeah. where a woman is on her feet, doing her thing, mm-hmm. stacking her money, always have money, always doing her thing no matter what, a hard worker and everything. And for a man to even think about doing that to a woman is just crazy to me that you can even sit there in the crib and not pay a dime. And be okay with it. And be okay with it. Mm-hmm. As a man. Some, some men, I mean, huh? it's not just one, it's total trash. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's, that's what I'm saying. What did he say? What? What if the roles are reversed? Yeah, and I'm not even mad at that question either, because I was going to say Listen, it, but... Listen, go ahead. Just waiting for the time, right? But roles do reverse, absolutely. I've seen it, I've heard it, I, I, I know it's true. It's true. It's, it's unfortunate either way that some people don't have... I don't know a better backbone. Um, I don't know. I, I don't even know what it is. See, that that's the thing. It's not even about backbone. It, it, that's that situation. I tell you, women have this thing inside of them. It's a switch. It's a switch inside of them that only only somebody can turn it on or off. The man, the woman cannot turn it on or off. It's the only the man can turn it on or off. You know what I'm saying? And it's the switch, like, women are so, like, superwomans. They're, like, they're ready to do everything. They, they cook, they clean, they work, they take care of the kids. They they just have such a high tolerance for everything. That's why a man takes advantage of that. Yep, but there's only so long you can put up with that, right? Yeah. I mean, right? There was only so long I could put up the, with that twice over. The end is so, coming. <laughs> twice I'm, over. I'm just letting you know. I'm a two-baby daddier. <laughs> <laughs> to baby daddy or to baby daddy or I'm just letting you know <laughs> and I'm that, single so <laughs> yeah that's what I'm saying and I'm, I'm just that's letting you I'm know that's what I'm saying for this situation time. the end is coming <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying I'm just saying that's you better get your cards together brother cause the end that's is fine. coming well, if you've watched any kind of TV lately, The Golden Bachelor is a whole thing. People can find love at 60 in case you didn't know that. <laughs> the Golden Bachelor is a whole thing. Yo, Katie Burns, of- Katie Burns checked in. She said, oh, she said, she said there's a lot of smooth, there's a lot of smooth talking narcissists mm-hmm. with big promises out there. Yeah, yeah. I understand. I feel you. But they listen. the game until you're like all the way a under better, their trans. Listen, take a better application from Rip. I don't care how good a man looks or how good he slings the thing, <laughs> swings the ding-a-ling. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> listen, it ain't a, at the end of the day, the ding-a-ling doesn't pay the bills. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> It, vice versa, the same thing the other way. It doesn't pay the bills. I don't care how good you ain't But you it know, it doesn't pay the bills. Also, I can tell you that some females don't mind taking care of a dude, and if that's the scenario, a little different, right? If they're mm. good with that, and they're like, he's good, he shows me the love, I'm happy as can be, I can pay the bills, he gives me what I need, and we good. That's all right, right? Like that's fine, because that's 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 what she wants, and she's happy. It's the point when you're not happy and you're just doing it for all the the wrong reasons. You're just staying there for all the wrong reasons. That's hard. Mm. That's a hard pill for me to swallow. I've swallowed it a couple times, but you know, I've picked myself up and have been able to thankfully, thank God, um, just get out of situations where I just don't want to be in anymore. That's it. Like 
I hate that, like, you know, that feeling. You only have one life to live, and, like, that feeling where you're just miserable living in a house with another human being. Mm. That is the worst feeling ever. Right. And, and you need I, an out at that yes, point. Yes, you need an out. You I'm need an out at that you. point. That's oh what I'm gosh. saying. There's a lot of uh, females in that situation yeah. right now because of the kids. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going I'm to I'm 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 bring this to you right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, your daughter, she's five years old. You're with this guy and everything. You're in a bad situation and everything. Mm -hmm. and, 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 you know, there's this switch inside you that's saying, okay, well, I need to stay here for my daughter. You know, I don't want her to have no dad. I don't want... That's, the, that's what I'm talking about in that situation right there. So it, it's different for me because my, so again, I said I, I've been through this twice over, right? So everybody knows mm -hmm. that. The first time was 23 years ago, so very long time ago, but that was a very abusive relationship. So getting out of that was, it was like I had to, like there was no, for me and him safety, all of it, right? Like for me and my son, that we had to get out of that scenario. So that's different, right? It, I even still try to allow him to be a father after we were out and you know all the other things a, couple, a little bit of time went by but mm -hmm. that just didn't work he just didn't want that right yep. so fine I'm willing to let that go because that is definitely the better scenario there but the mm -hmm. second time around like she wasn't losing a father he's always there he's there as much as me sometimes him, him a little more than me sometimes me a little more than him we co-parent great like you know yeah we have our disagreements and our issues but we put her first and so she didn't lose a dad she actually gained more because now we're both happy we're in our peace you know she still considers us a family which we are so it's just one of those scenarios i i i guess i'm lucky the second time around um but definitely i don't know what it's like to say okay well this man is not you know physically abusing me but you know i you know i don't want to leave him if i leave he's not going to be a father like i just don't get that you, just because you leave it doesn't mean that you're losing a parent it shouldn't be that way but i get that sometimes it is but it yo, shouldn't be that way yo nick said his dingling paid the bills <laughs> <laughs> oh my god yeah listen i don't know what kind of you're dingling saying. you got brother but hey listen i, I got the same one you know what I mean? But yeah, listen, yeah, I'm just letting you know. <laughs> it, sometimes it, 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 sometimes, you know, I understand what you're talking about, Nick. I understand. I understand. Oh my gosh, I, I do not understand what Nick is talking about. I understand about. what you talk about, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> I understand what you talk about. Sometimes, that's terrible. but that's the whole thing. That's, terrible. that's the whole thing. That's it, terrible. Some some <laughs> females get wrapped up in that. And no, that's They get said, wrapped up in the old ding thing. If they're happy with it, but if they're happy with that, then let them do it, right? All right, fine. Then the ding -ling pays pays the bills, right? But if they're not happy, it's a completely different scenario. Completely different. <laughs> yo, I'm like, yo, Jeez, listen. I'm like, I'm like, uh, but 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 what I'm saying is like that's what that's the kind of situation. So. What happens when the, the the man wants to drive your car, or and then you gotta then you gotta go and then he picks you up from work, and all that stuff like that. That's that's how it gets to it gets to that situation yeah. where he drops you off at work, mm -hmm. and then he comes then he goes and picks up the next female and your joint. It's just so bad. You know it's what I'm saying? I'm just up. saying, it happens every day. I know. That you know terrible. he goes drops you off and then he goes and drives your car over to the next female's house. So what are you telling me? So what is your advice to these to these <laughs> scenarios? Because we're stating the facts, right? This is what We're going to keep on this stating. We're going to keep on going. I and then know. and then we're going to clarify at the end. Okay. All right. You know, we're gonna but we're going to keep on okay. going. Okay. So right. so that's what I'm saying. So then you got the then you got the man that takes the car, drops her drops his girl off at work and then goes to the next next girl's crib. Has a different female with the car. The car. You know what I'm saying? Now, now he knows that you can't see him because he's in. You're at work. You know what I'm saying? You're at work, and how do you know what's going on in your car when you're at work? Because you're concentrating on work. Yeah, of course. So, I don't care what situation. I don't. I don't. I just don't care what situation you're in. If you let another man take your car, and he has no transportation at all. You're gonna you're gonna get cheated on. That's the first red flag. Well, I mean, that's probably the tenth red Period. flag from that guy, but it is definitely a red flag. 
Why doesn't yeah. he have a vehicle of his own? That's what that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm talking about. The application. Yeah. Okay. What if he went through? Oh, listen, baby. You know, my car broke down. That's and, plain to see. And this and that. Blah 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 blah. Right, well, but your car back. he's but he's get like Nick. <laughs> he's like Nick, and he's slinging that ding a ling. I'm telling you, know you I mean? if you're okay with it, cool. If you're not, then don't. You know what I'm saying? Don't be. Get yourself out of there. So, so <laughs> that's that's what, that's that's what I'm really talking about. The situation where yeah. you could turn a good girl, like a real good girl, bad. Yeah. Because after that point, so okay, now you get back into the situation. You're in this situation for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight years, and by that time, you're damaged goods because once you get rid of that then you get on you try to get into another situation and you're and mentally you're not there because you've been so hurt by the last situation that you can't even get it right for the new situation well there's ways to get it right i mean the problem is that some females get out of that relationship and they hop into another one right away blah mm. blah blah you know that's that's a thing but there's ways to get over that there's a, you know, like you go to therapy, you take your time, you do your own thing, meditation, you know, yoga, whatever makes you feel good. But there are <laughs> ways to get out of it and getting into another relationship immediately is not Sherilyn right. says she's calling channel three. Yeah. Yo, that does. <laughs> yo, you say, you, you say, well, you got to get over someone, you got to get under someone. <laughs> You think that's the you think that's the situation right there? That's just gonna add more yeah. turmoil yeah. to the situation. No. Mm -mm. You know what I'm saying? You know it's just yeah. so you know. Hey, that's <laughs> a fact though. It works fifty percent of the time. You know what I'm saying? Fifty percent of the time. But then now you got a new situation. And what if this guy that you this what about the situation you got under? You know what I'm saying? Wants to be oh he wants to be that man now. Now he wants to go and start drama at mm -hmm. your crib. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and, and you know what I'm saying? So I don't do that. I that situation right there that. is a different situation. But you want to know something? I and it's really funny that um, you know. I think it was more so. Like I'm, I'm, I'm not a cheater. I've never cheated, right? But I think it's more so that I'm like literally afraid to cheat. I'm like, what is this man gonna do? It's like the sanest of sweetest of nicest men. You cheat on them can come in and like blow your brains because they're like, oh, you know, he found you cheating. Like, it's just like, it's crazy. Like, I don't, I feel like that's such a sacred thing. I would never do that to a man. I'd rather just leave just because also like I'm scared. Men can really literally snap. I'm not trying to lose my, my, my life. Yeah. You know, and <laughs> and I mean, then for females too, that's but what I'm saying. just saying. And then there are abusive situations, abusive yeah. situations. And then there are. You got an abusive situation mm -hmm. and you got a kid situation. Yeah. So that's you got in a, a kid tough. situation and an abusive situation. That's that's, that's like tough. how that's, that's how so that's hard. tough for a female. That's what I'm yes. trying to tell you. Yeah, I don't. You I know turn it. a good girl bad. So bad. You but there's that? always a way back. There's, there's always a way. back. You can always come back. There's always a way. No matter back. what, you can always come back. So it, it sucks that a man has the power to do something like that. But you know, just know there's always a way back. It, find yourself back. yes it's just a thing like this where you're in, if you're in that situation and you're that person in that situation you just have to i mean let the dr j talk to you <laughs> no I, my name is not dr j house call just for, for nothing you know what i'm saying <laughs> talk to me ask me ask me whatever you need to ask me i'm gonna give you the male's point of view of what you really should be doing versus what you really should not be doing you know what i'm saying because i don't want to i don't want to see any female get into any situation that you should not be in because right now it's 2023 mm -hmm. and 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 men should be on top of their game right now yeah. because women are way on top of their game right now so <laughs> i'm gonna let you know these women out here are way on top of their game Same than these it. men are they're, these <laughs> women are are going to school they're getting their nurses degree they're doing this they're going to law school they're doing this. They, they, they're, they're in semester two. They're, they're, you know what I mean? So they're doing that. And what is the man? What As you as a man, if you can call yourself a man, what are you doing for your woman? What are you bringing to the yeah. table? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Wait, say that again. What, you, <laughs> you said getting a trade at EB. Mike, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
man. Hey, listen, EB, they're hiring right now. You can go get you a job. You ain't gotta sit in the crib. You know, I, I, I'm gonna just tell you a lot of a lot of like like men and no and back in the day until and maybe four or five years ago, they just you know they blame it on society. They blame it on society. They'd be like, oh no, um, nobody's hiring. Uh, nobody's this. Nobody's that. They, they don't understand, but you got to start somewhere. No, yeah. You sure. know what I'm saying? You just can't get into that big time job that's paying you yeah. sixty to a hundred thousand dollars. You got to start somewhere. So that's why they make these excuses like, oh, you know what? Oh, they're not hiring out there. Oh, there's no jobs out there. There's no this. There's no that. Oh, what was me? You know? Oh my God. You know? <laughs> Yep, I know it. I've heard it before. <laughs> I heard it in a time where you could go to the corner and get a job anywhere, <laughs> doing anything. <laughs> so, yeah. Ice water. You know I what I mean? My boy Junior Davis. Big shout <laughs> out to water. DJ. DJ, DJ, my boy DJ out in Florida, man. Oh, you know what I'm saying? That's so, right. that's what I'm saying. So, that's how you can turn a good girl bad. You know, you got this girl, she's, and, and, and I'm going I'm to just tell you, this one person, you know, Goes to work at like I said, goes to work at seven, gets out at three, goes to the next job till nine, mm -hmm. then goes home, studies, does her school work. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And you know, but the thing, the thing what she's doing, she's trying to get better. Uh, she's getting better as as the time as she's taking this time. Okay, you do your thing, you do your thing. But the thing is, that's not a situation anymore. You know what I'm saying? So they're both. They're, they're all coexisting inside the yeah. house, but there's no physical anymore because the situation is, there's no situation. But you know what? I got I to gotta give her props though because sometimes when I'm not in a good situation, it's like I can't focus on anything. Like I'm trying to dive into work, but I'm doing crappy at it. You know what I mean? Like it's hard for me to focus on other things. And I give it to her, working two jobs, going to school. Like, she's keeping herself busy. She's like, screw it. If I'm not going to be happy at home, I might as well be keeping myself busy so that when the day comes, you know, I, I, I'm i set for myself. Um, I'm not mad at that, right? Mm. Like, at least she's keeping herself busy. Yeah. I, I know well, that's I wasn't, the thing. like, at she's one point. She's keeping herself busy out the house because she doesn't want to be in that right. situation. At least. So she's keeping you, herself busy. Right. Working. Right. Going out with the homegirl. Which, <laughs> which sucks, but at the same time, at least she's doing things for herself. Mm. At least. If there's nothing else that I can take away from that, because I know when I was in that scenario, and I, I get the feeling that it was a little worse than mm. her scenario in terms of, like, you know, the, the bad side, the dark side of things. Right. But I wasn't even allowed to do certain things, see you that, know? See that, see that, see that. I couldn't even, like... That's the controlling part about well, it. Well, that's the thing. And it wasn't like everybody's like, oh, what do you mean you're not allowed? I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah I could have just walked out. I'm, I'm a grown adult, right? right? But, like, the consequences after it that I have to suffer, like, just not worth it. So And that's like, the problem. Yeah. And that's the problem. Yeah, that's why problem. a lot of females huge. stay in a situation yeah. that they can't get out of. Been there. I was young. Yeah. Thank God I was young. So young. I got it out of my system. I saw it. I can... I can smell it from a mile away. Like, hmm. thankfully, thankfully, what's I it, learned What's it, what's from it smell like? It smells like pure horse manure. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> <laughs> no, what does horse manure sound like? What's the sound? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Horse manure. Straight horse manure. <laughs> Straight. <laughs> With a little bit of hay. Straight out. Straight out. Like when it's warm still. That's what it smells like. <laughs> With a little bit of hay on there. You know Burning the hay. Burning it. <laughs> yeah. That's so, what yeah. It I, like. That's 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 Mile what, that's, away. That's what I'm talking about. So, that's when I say you are like... Like, females just have to take a better application. Yeah. Don't just go on looks. You know what I mean? Don't just go on a fancy car. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It ain't all about that. You know what I mean? I, like a car, listen, the, the car does not make the man. The man makes the car. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So don't just go on the car. Don't just go on the, the fabrication, the, the, the front view of it. You know what I mean? Don't just go in the front view. Look at the whole view. Mm -hmm. 929 WDUP. Yes. Let's talk about the 411. Dr. J House calling the building. <laughs> man, we're going to go into the mix, man.
We're gonna let my boy. We're gonna let my boy Bad Boy. We're gonna let my boy Bad Boy Beige go into the thing, man. Beige. DJ Bad Boy Beige. <laughs> bad Boy Beige. <laughs> Yo, that name's perfect. Bad Boy James, Bad Boy Beige. Yo, it's perfect, yo. Yo, Bad Boy Beige. That's your name, bro. Yo. <laughs> That's your name, yo. Period. What was the name? It was what? Bad Boy James, right? Bobby. No. Uh, Bobby. Bobby Beige. Oh, Bobby Beige, right? Yo, Bad Boy Beige. Bad Boy Beige, boom. That's it right there. Got it, dog. Put that on the fly and all that shit. Bad you might just book motherfuckers over that name alone. Like, yo. yo. That's a dope name, bro. Boy, it's time and then Louis, your boy Louis. Okay. I think around that nigga, man. My shit right here. Bobby. If you want to, though, you can turn the speakers up when you're in your mix, you know what I'm saying? Like, just, you know what I mean? Just lower it when you, you know, we go back live and shit. Bad boy beige, yo, where you at with it tonight? Oh, this weekend, man. Game squad, you DJ now? This is the line, we have a 90 and 2000 for tomorrow. What, tomorrow? Okay. Tomorrow, Friday. I'll pull up. Up in here. No man, you, you need to book Bobby Brown over there. You book Kevin Hart, nigga. You need to book Bobby Brown out here. Bobby, how much Bobby? How much you think Bobby's charging? Come on, pull up. 
Uh, you think he's still I, I, up I, there? I, I don't think it's dirt cheap, but I, I think I think. What? Under ten? I, I never booked this. I don't really Under know. Under ten? I think ten. Under ten? Yeah. Yo. Under ten or ten? You know, I, I was like, half joking, but like, yo, that'd be dope, though. You get Bobby Brown over here? Yo, shit, them things are fly. If you get uh, Bobby Brown and Keith Sweat, the 20 bands. Uh, Keith Sweat comes free. He, he came in more. He can sell for free. Aaron Hall might be in trouble. Aaron Hall might come free. Aaron he, came, Hall. He, came down to Bob, he came down to more. He can sell for free. Really? Yeah. Oh. Keith Sweat do a, a free tour, a free um, concert at more. He can sell. Oh, wow. So that's what I'm saying. So well, I, got, I got, I got, I mean, I got, I can get in contact with any artist, man. It's just Yo, like, stop doing it, man. Stop booking them right there. The station head. That's what I had Kevin Hart. Yo, you see out here with that? I've got Kevin Hart over there. I, I, I wasn't there, but I heard about it. Yeah, man. That shit, that shit sold out in like three days. Not yeah, even my, three my days. Ex, I think it was sold out in like four or five hours, yeah, bro. Yeah, my ex girl had to get me. I, I, I was dragging my feet on. My ex girl had got some joints. Everybody thought it was fake. Yeah, nobody believed that. Yo, nobody believed it. Kevin, like, Hart, Kevin Hart chain was dancing, dog. Like, oh, my God. I, I, was I, was even, I stopped paying attention to the jokes. I was just looking at the chain. I'm like, yo. It, my, it, it, it was like one rope. It was like all like five carat diamonds all the way around that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. This was crazy. Yeah, this shit was crazy. Hey, yo. Bobby Brown. Let's go. Scarred on this. Everybody thinks that Bobby. Everybody thinks that um, that Bobby Brown did not do, did not cause Whitney's death. Oh, did it again? That so Bobby think Brown, Bobby did not? That Bobby Brown did not cause Whitney's death. You think he did? Hell, fucking hell! I mean, he wasn't uh, doing no damn drugs like that until Bobby, man. She's from the hood, man. She from North, man. She's from the hood. Bro, listen, nah. If she wouldn't have got with Bobby, she'd be still alive today. That's my take on it. That's my take on it. Bobby just sent her shit to the next level. I mean, uh, Bobby was messing with Janet. She ain't go that way. She ain't go left. But Bobby was doing drugs when we she was fucking. Uh -huh. with, with, with. Bobby was doing drugs when she was fucking. He started fucking with Whitney. He was Bobby, in Bobby, that Bobby, shit. Bobby fucked with that shit when he was a kid. Uh, yo, Bobby been fucking with that. He ain't turned out. That's what I'm saying. Because Janet turn wasn't out. getting turned out. Man, Didn't have too much paper to get turned out. Whitney was just big. I don't know. When he was, this is big too. Huh? They about to turn this show to SDE, man. What up? We got the debate show. Huh? I said, they about to turn this show to uh, the debate show, man. What up? SDE, motherfucker. Huh? See you last night. I saw you standing there. I couldn't make up the color of your hair. Keep a cover. Keep, keep a cover free. Every time I do karaoke, my. You should do a Keith and Bobby Brown right here. That'd be fire. That'd be fire. You have all the aunties out. Yo, it should be too much. All the aunties. <laughs> you have all the aunties out with me. Hey, the aunties still bad, I ain't. Oh my God, no, you did not. All the aunties. All the aunties still bad, though. They still. All the aunties can be bad as shit coming out, motherfucker. Bobby and Keith oh, up there. Shit. What? That should be lit all the way down the street. Yo, they come right here, boom, first, and then go over there. That should be lit. It all make way too down much the sense. It make too much goddamn sense. And you know what? You could probably get both of them for 15. Nope. You could probably get both of them for 15. Yo, baby, you got paid for this flight or they gonna have their own flight? No, they I know, I know, fuck up. Oh, nobody like that. They're only on the flight. You gotta just see what Keith is at right now. Keith and Bobby at right now. I haven't even heard a score of Bobby or Keith. So you got to see where they at right now. I'm trying to get them for that discount if they coming through already. Okay. <laughs> I can't believe this man. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. That's how I got Kevin. Look, I got Kevin for nothing. I got Kevin for nothing. Kevin who? Kevin Hart. Really? Yeah, I brought Kevin Hart right here. 
for nothing. How? Because he was already coming to Foxwood but for, for nothing, a party. But absolutely, for absolutely positive nothing. Are you like, like trying to set that work and shit, cut out his jokes or some shit like that? Yeah, he's just new that? material. Yeah, new material, yeah, yeah. yeah. Him, and the, him and the Red Cup boys. Yep. He just came, he, he was already coming to Foxwood for a party. So I caught him, I caught his manager on the way up and I was like, listen, oh, he's trying to do more material. I got a spot right here. He's like, all right, well, I, I get the ticket sales. You can, you can, you can have the bar, the, the, the door, everything else, whatever else is there. And he's like, okay, bet. So he, he had his own ticket. He had his own ticket thing that he, all the people bought tickets through his own shit. And his money was already in the bank already before he even fucking came. Okay. Right. So money was already in the bank already, and he just, he nah, just yeah. showed up. Yeah, to the I got to you. That's one of the dopest joints. That was one of the dopest moves ever, dog. I mean, it's kept hard, like, at his peak, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I wanted he was at his peak. Yeah. And he was just going to Foxwood for a party, yeah. and he stopped in here at, like, 8 o'clock. That's did crazy. a few jokes. Just a his few boys jokes. did a few jokes, and then they went to Foxwood. Yeah, I heard, like, I forgot, somebody told me, like, uh, they asked him, like, yo, what would it take you to come back? He was like, man, I heard a mute. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, man. He was like, nah, I ain't coming back. <laughs> it's like a mill. It's like a well, couple hundred I thousand. I didn't know they would do it to about TK. Yeah. TK Kirkland. Oh, yeah. TK Kirkland. Yeah, TK Kirkland. My God, that's Nick. Nick likes to TK Kirkland. Man. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, we got a situation. Yes. 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 Do your thing, girl. What's daughter? The daughter with you and Jeff? Yeah, if you like like LL, you could get probably LL right here too. LL, get the heck out of here. Yeah. You'll bring him up. I know LL's no manager. I, I could get LL I right here. here. But LL, they're doing tours out here right now. All the LL shit and everything, you could probably get a few of them too. Yeah, LL pull up. I mean, LL bring them out. You know yeah. what I mean, girl? Yeah, people pull up You could get anybody that's coming past here, they're, they're, they always want to make a few dollars, so you can make a few, if you can do your own ticket Ticketmaster account and get all the money already in your account already. All you gotta do is show up. He made six. He made what did he make? He made like forty five thousand dollars right there. Jeez. Just for just for coming through real quick, forty five real quick, and then go to Foxwoods. Well, right. Wait, I don't know how much he was getting paid at Foxwoods, but he made forty five thousand dollars right there. By selling the place out in four hours. Hey yo yo yo, God bless the day. My dude Paradise, he like he was like, yo, I can see you connect to the casino and shit like that. Five thing. And he was like, yo, if you got an LLC, yo, you can start booking shit at the casino, like book your own shit. Yeah. 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 That's what I was trying to tell you, about this. I got my shit. That shit is that shit is gold, man. That's what I was telling you. I get calls every single day, ten calls a day, just throwing money at me, like just, yo, come on, take this money. <laughs> And, and it's predatory, but you can get it. I can get a mill right now if I need a mill. It's just by moving that money through the account, man. Yeah. Moving that money through I'm the account. I'm going to you home, man. She give me the heebie-jeebies and shit. I you know. You're all about that. That shit, I guess it gets you all heebie-jeebies up at that moment. Ah, but I, I, I mean, start putting the phone on there. TK. He's not a gynecologist, he's a pussyologist. Oh, jeez. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. That's TK Kirkland. We're not live. We're not live. We're it's not TK. Live. <laughs> it's TK. It goes on, uh, on, on satellite radio. We on satellite, yo. We cuz of the snow. That's, that's like um, Howard Stern in there, man. Yeah, yeah. You can do whatever. It's TK. <laughs> This show might offend a few people, you know, because I'm looking through your email, you know, so it might offend a few people, you know. <laughs> C.K. Kirkland, man, he's he's not a he's not a gynecologist, he's a pussyologist, you know what I mean? That's, a, that's it. C.K. <laughs> Kirkland, baby. Uh oh, there we go. There uh. we go. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Yo, the nineties is coming back, bro. We're just talking about all this music stuff too earlier.
go back in. <laughs> yeah. What's going on, New London? 929 WDUP. Let's talk about the 411. Dr. J House calling the building, coming through your eardrums, saying all that stuff you want to hear. I got Zantia with me on the side, hey. you know, coming all the way from Worcester. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, ooh, ooh. So, holla at your boy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yo, listen. Uh, he said, "Let me see that DJ again." Oh, they want to see. They want to see wanna bad, see boy bad, bad boy Bates. Bad boy Bates. Bad boy Bates. My boy, bad boy Bates. They want to see my boy, bad boy Bates. You know what I mean? I didn't switch this whole name. Up, you know what I mean? Yeah, a little bit, a little switched bit. Switch this whole name. Up, my boy, bad boy Bates. But, yeah. but listen, you know, we back, we back on the, we back on the mix again, man. You know. Big shout out to my man Nick. I'm talking about my boy TK. My boy TK Kirkland. If y'all don't know nothing about TK Kirkland, y'all need to get it up. You know what I mean? Y'all need to get on there and listen to that boy, man. TK Kirkland, that's a funny dude. <laughs> that's a funny dude. But I, I want I want to take a little poll, man. Listen, I'm thinking about we over here networking, we talking about some things. What would y'all do if we bought Keith Sweat and Bobby Brown to the Guard Arts Theater? <laughs> now listen, I don't know I don't know if a lot of y'all have been around, but I've been around for a long time. And back in 2017, I know y'all probably remember it, but I bought Kevin Hart right over here to the Guard Art Theater. Wow. And that and that show, that wow. show sold out in four hours. I thought you were gonna say four minutes. <laughs> Four hours that show. But first of all, people, you know, you know, the crazy thing, people was mad at me. People was mad at me. Why, yo, why you didn't tell me about it? I'm like, why I ain't tell you about it? Why I gotta say anything about Kevin Hart coming up? Because we, I did tell you about it, but you didn't believe it. That's the point. A lot of people didn't believe didn't that believe Kevin it. Hart was coming to New London to the Guard Art Theater. A million dollar artist coming to the Guard Art Theater. Because he was doing a show, you know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all don't know about that, man. I ain't gonna preach about it, man. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't gonna preach about but it. But I don't know, Kevin Hart, right at the Guard Art Theater, if y'all don't remember, y'all should remember, uh, uh, you know. Keith Sweat Bobby Brown. Keith I Sweat and Bobby Brown. You know, Keith Sweat did a free, get, did a don't free party. Don't tease us, don't tease us. I understand, but Keith, Keith Sweat did a free concert uh, at Mohegan Sun. Keith. A free concert, so uh, that's how it is right now. I think Keith, I think Keith Sweater come up for like five dollars. Yeah, like maybe you know what I'm saying. I mean, yeah. in twenty bucks. Keith Sweater come up for five dollars right bucks. now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. No, don't you try to bring him through? Don't bring him back to me. <laughs> yeah. Free, I would all the way come up here for that. You know what I'm saying. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to reach out to that man because mm -hmm. I, I tell you, I tell you this right now, all the aunties. Will be coming You're up the for man Keith Sweat. If you get Keith Sweat down here, <laughs> my boy Bad Boy Bates, my boy Bad Boy Bates back there, you know what I'm saying? All the panties, all them old, all, all them, them old all nasty all panties, <laughs> and maybe a few good ones. All them come old on nasty, now, all the old nasty <laughs> panties going on. Be them, them big, them Monday big girl. bloomers, them big bloomers will be going on the stage right now, girl. Get Get your bloomers, bloomers up. Get your bloomers. Oh get the God. bloomers off the stage. God damn it. Get your bloomers off the stage. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I'm, I'm trying to take a poll, right? I'm trying to take a poll right now. Like, who would come to a Bobby Brown and Keith Sweat show? Everybody's coming. What are you talking about? Everybody's coming. I don't even think there's enough seats over there for a Bobby right. Brown and Keith Everybody's Sweat show. Right. Everybody's coming. You know what I'm saying? sold out immediately. I, you think it'll sell out more than Kevin Hart sold out? I mean, hmm. I don't know. I well, think we, so. I mean, we, we well, talking about I mean, yeah. we're talking about like the old school. Yeah, you know? but now, like, like yo, people is... from our town, we pulling up. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, ain't want to be IA. Listen, if, 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 if I say yeah. Keith Sweat is coming to the Guard Art Theater, it's packed. Yeah. I don't care what you say. I don't and you're doing Bob. I agree. And then you're doing Bob too. And then you're doing Bobby, a special guest, Bobby Brown. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be a thing. My prerogative of coming up in the building. <laughs> you know what I mean? Come on. We're now. just gonna take it back to the old school. I can't wait. 
Can this be a thing? <laughs> like, this, I already thing. can't wait, and it's. I know. Not I already see. All yo, I gotta yo. do is plug it in, man. I just gotta. I just gotta go into my. I just gotta go into my roller decks and plug it in. It's plugged in. You know that's it. It's already plugged in. Hey, listen, a Macklin Vision. That's what Macklin Vision does. So, but do y'all know about Macklin Vision LLC? That's what we do. We bring the we bring the people in that you don't think that's gonna come through, but they come through. <laughs> they come through. You know what I'm saying? So, big shout out to Macklin Vision. You know what I mean? So we gotta get that in. But let's go back to the the topic at hand. Topic at hand. Listen, Sherilyn, I, I just wanna let you know I didn't forget about you but listen that situation right there is just crazy if you're talking about the daughter i'm thinking about you talking about that's just crazy you just need to do what you got to do the doctor is here for you the doctor is gonna make any decision for you help you out whatever you want to do in that situation i'm all about the kids man. my thing is i'm all about the kids mm -hmm. and, and yeah. if that's the situation you got to call and do what you have to do as a mother you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's that Keith right there. You yeah. may be. He heard us. You know what he saying? heard us. He said, hold that up a second. Keith. Hold up, hold up. Yo, listen. Keith, Keith, all I'm saying is, if you don't like Keith, I don't know who you is right now. Right, who you is. You know what I'm saying? Doesn't even matter. You don't Doesn't like even Keith. matter who you is. Listen, we about to start a whole <laughs> thing, man. We're going to have to get Keith down here. Yeah, we are going to get Keith down here, and I can't wait for it. But uh, we're going to go back into that thing. I mean, we're going to just finish it off with this. And, and like, listen, because <laughs> I, I just want all, like I said before, when I started this out, I just want you all to take a better, I'm giving you these jewels so you just take a better application. You know what I'm saying? Listen, don't don't fall into the, the glitz and the glam and the chains and the, the tin boots and the, the pants hanging off your butt and all that stuff like that. Don't. Don't fall into that, man. No, no, you know what no, I mean? If he ain't about it. nothing, it's 2023. A lot has changed. It's 2023, so a lot has changed. If he ain't about nothing, there's no need to even get in the sack with him. Yeah. Period. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Done. I don't care how Period. much the urge is, how good he smells, <laughs> how nice his car is, and everything. If he lives at his mom's crib, that's not it. 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 All right. And I uh, and if he <laughs> and if he driving his mom's car, that's not it. That's not it. And if he wants to drive your car, that's definitely, that's definitely not, not it. it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Most definitely. You know what I'm saying? Please. And if he wants to and if he wants to move in and if he starts to like bring his stuff in gradually. No. No, That's not he it. can take all his crap yeah. with him at the end yeah. of the night. If he got his joint, if you win it if for, he the, got his... <laughs> for the dingling, like no people luggage. say, I yeah. quite mad at that. But make sure he takes all his stuff with him at the end of that dingling. Please and uh. thank you. Period. <laughs> I'll leave you with that. Do your thing. Make sure he takes his things with him. Make us... <laughs> <laughs> Period. Yo, don't. If he comes out with a trash bag. Uh... <laughs> That's that's not it. If the if, he, if the if the dude can't come through, and he got a nice some nice Trash luggage, bag. yo, listen, hey, look, I'm gonna tell you like this. Trash if I'm coming bag. through, I'm gonna come through with a nice piece of luggage. You know what I mean? I'm gonna have my overnight bag. I'm gonna have my toothbrush. I'm gonna have everything. And you know what I'm gonna do when I when before I leave? I'm gonna make your bed up. I'm gonna put your laundry in. I'm gonna make sure the dishes oh, is laundry. good. And then you know, then I'm gonna lock your crib up. You know what I'm saying? Why <laughs> you gonna lock my crib up? Because I'm gonna lock your crib. If you're still there when I leave for work, that means you out. That means that's not a thing. Why aren't you leaving for work at the same time that that's I'm what I'm saying. for work? I, I, right? Like, that's part of the I, application, sir. But listen, I don't care how much you put my laundry in. You need to leave for work. If you don't got a job to listen, leave you, I don't care. Don't listen, throw my laundry and I'll do it myself. I'm just telling you like this. I'm a different type of dude. So. I, I don't. I, I work for myself. I'm a 1099 employee. Well, ditto. I mean, I, I guess you know we're a saying? different piece. I'm, I'm a, just I'm saying. I'm a 1099 employee. 1099. All the way. If you're not a 1099 employee, <laughs> you don't understand it. Right. If right. you're a W2 employee, you're on a different level than a 1099 employee. 
a 1099 employee. Watch for those 1099 employees, too. You gotta watch for those 1099 employees sometimes. And I'm putting up quotations with my fingers. Make sure they got some kind of income. For real. Just saying. We're gonna put that out there. I'm gonna leave it there. Leave it right there. So, that's that's what I'm saying. So, listen. All, that's all, that's all I'm really saying. Right? It's like there's there's people that's in situations and everything like that. Just you know, just just take care of yourself and and you know don't fall into this situation like that. You know what I mean? Because like like I, I, I'm a man. You know what I mean? I'm a man. I used to do the same things. You know what I'm saying? But this was like 20 years ago. You know what I'm saying? I used to do the same things. I mean, a lot of men use this as a come up. You know what I mean? The, 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 the thing is about this, if, if you're going to live with a female and you're going to do, you're not, you're not, you're going to drive her car and everything and this and that, at least use it as a come up. You know what I mean? You got to come up, brother, off of that. Don't, don't be the same type of dude after you live with this female, you drive her car around, you're able to get here and there, you're able to go everywhere you need to go. Use it as a come up at least, man. Don't just don't just get stuck in the way though, just because she's letting you use her, her car and this and that and everything else. So that wouldn't be negative zero, right? That would be like, all right, well maybe I had a tough time and Milkshake helped me get my own way. Huh? You guys on the radio? You on it? Stepping on the party back there. You guys on the radio? You on it? I'm on his five. Period. I'm done. No, my man. My man. My man. Bad boy Bates. Yeah. My boy. My boy. Bad boy Bates in the mix right there back there, yo. You know what I'm saying? Huh? I love this. Joe, my boy Joe. Hey, yo, you know I, mean? I don't know, man. Trap that kid up, Joe. A lot of y'all, a lot, yo, Joe. You get Joe, that's yo, it. That's yo, it. Joe. Hey, Joe. Whoa, 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 yo, Joe, 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 Joe might come out for a hundred dollars. If Joe comes out, yo, I will give you the hundred dollars for Joe. Yo, Joe might come out for a hundred. I will give you the hundred dollars for Joe. Please get Joe you know there. I mean? Please. Please. Uh. Please. 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 Joe coming up in the joint. Listen, that Joe coming up in the joint. There's no pennies in it. You can't get into the spot with pennies. I won't even. All right, fine. Cool. You gotta drop your pennies at the airport. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta drop your pennies. You gotta drop your pennies at the door. Joe can't make it with throwing Tyrese. Oh my God. Man, listen. Tyrese come in there. Man, listen. Tyrese be crying too. I know, man. I don't know why I said that one. You're not a crybaby. You're not a crybaby. What are you all for me? Your boy Tyrese is crying. I don't know why. He be crying too much. He be crying too much for me. I mean, keep me, keep me crying too, but he be crying on a different level. He probably made hits, no? He made hits. Your boy Tyrese, man, I don't know what he did with that video back in the day when he was up there crying about his his baby and his daughter and this and that and everything, man. I was like, damn, Tyrese, why you do yourself like that? I think that ended his career because you haven't heard nothing from him since then. I mean, well, he's eight. still fine, though. He's still fine. He's still fine. He's still, fine, he's still good, you know. I wonder if he still got that six pack. <laughs> You got the six pack or not? He's still fine, though. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, man, we we gonna take it. We gonna take it about here. But I'm just saying, man, y'all females out there, just take a better application. Don't let a man sit around and do nothing. Please don't. You know what I mean? Don't let him sit around and do nothing. Ask him what he's coming to the table with, and if he's not coming to the table with nothing, kick his ass out. Yes. You don't Period. Need nothing. That's it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like it's not all. Sometimes, listen, the dingling doesn't pay the bills. Like my man Nick Irie said, he said his joint paid the bills. <laughs> I don't know, man. You know, you're gonna have to prove something to them girls out there. <laughs> listen, all, I'm all I know is, is it don't pay the bills. If you want it to pay the bills, that's okay. That's a different story. If you don't want it to pay the bills and you keep feel jaded because it's paying the bills and it ain't no good, mm. then do something about it, please and thank you. Mm. 929 WDUP, let's talk about the 411. Dr. J house call in the building. One time again, Thursday, 
Yeah, we be back next Thursday, man. I got some more to talk about. We be back next Thursday. Back in the building. Really? You got OnlyFans now too, Nick? Stop it. <laughs> I'm yeah. jumping on, Nick. <laughs> oh no! What's the handle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the handle? Yeah. Give it up! Give yeah. it up! You gotta, you gotta, <laughs> yeah. Yo, you gonna be wet towel, wet towels, and all that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Where's the handle? Yo, you gonna call your, you gonna call your OnlyFans wet hey, yo, towels? Yo, trying to say you give Nick Irish. <laughs> <laughs> I give him some trim my head, man. Nick is smiling right now. Yo, yo, Nick, Nick gonna call his only fans the wet towel boys. Hey, yo, that, <laughs> yo. yo, he gonna be handing wet towels out the door. Hot, 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 wet towels out. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? New London, I appreciate y'all, man. I appreciate y'all. I really do. Yeah. New London Me Wales to stand up, man. We appreciate y'all for listening in. All everybody who commented in, I appreciate y'all. We be back next Thursday to talk about it again, yeah. man. Thank you guys. Come back. From the bottom of my heart, it is true. Oh my God, that's great. That was good. <laughs> Oh my god, that was great. <laughs> Funny stuff. Oh, my god. <laughs> I wanna know. Yo. Hi. Uh, yo. Dr. J. I know. You feel like we have jokey? I think we can do some shit with that, man. Listen. Please let that not be a half joke, because that was great. I think you really. What? That should be you, yo. Listen, I got the plug over there, so I'm gonna I'm see. I'm gonna look into yeah, it. Your mom, girl, or Jackie work over there. Yeah, Jackie I'm gonna look into it and see see if we can. Um, cause I know I know Keith ain't a lot of money, bro. I really I know he ain't a lot of money. He did a free concert at Mohegan, mm -hmm. so for him to come to this little joint, it depends on where he's at. You want to yeah. try to catch him when he's like... Right here. It's got to be time. Yeah, you can get him. I tend to wear these shit. Yeah. Oh. What about Joe? Joe, the same thing. Joe's probably like... Joe's probably cheap as fuck. Right? Probably, Joe he got eggs, really boy. Right, really? I mean, he, 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 he eat off a little damn power intro. Yeah. It's a big, big time. <laughs> Joe's <laughs> and, 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 like, oh. Oh. My boy yeah. Gaines Bonds. What up, baby? Yo, that'd be Joe. good, yo. Yeah, that'd be good. And yo, I know, and yo, and yo, and yo, and it's, and, and, and yo, it's not negotiable. They gotta stop here first before they go over. Oh, we gotta, you know what I'm saying? It's not negotiable. We're gonna definitely set it up. Before I even talk to them, we're like, listen, I need you to come to um, the guard our theater, but listen, we gotta stop through 92 Ryan WDB right across the street first. Yeah. And then pop up over there. Yes. Yo, yes. It makes too much sense. Yeah. It makes too much sense. It makes too much sense over there. I love this. This is great. Well, listen, we appreciate y'all. You know? Big shout out, big toast. Kettle, kettle one. Kettle, kettle one. You gonna keep shouting out? The, I, I, I thought you. Yo, I, I just had no source. Like I thought you shouted out somebody that called himself Big Toes. <laughs> like, shout out Big Toes. <laughs> <laughs> big <laughs> Toes. <laughs> I, I, Yo, Nick, 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 Nick trying to I'm give you. A, this is the problem, guys. This is the problem. I'm taking it away. Yo, Nick trying to give you his, his I, Nick trying to give you his own fan page. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. That's crazy. He's like, y'all, my nigga, big toes. Listen, need to bump that R. Bump that R, man. Hit him with that R, Kelly. I don't care. Uh, you should care. I don't care. He had don't hate though. the don't hate the artist. <laughs> hate the man. <laughs> don't hate the artist. Hate the man. R. Kelly is that guy. Don't hate the artist. <sighs> hate the man. The man. Seriously, R. Kelly's that guy. Always say this. A bunch of y'all that had babies are R. Kelly. Yo, yo I always I don't say this. Care. Yo, man and floor, yo, that's God giving talent, yo. You know what I mean? No that's God giving talent. What's that? Man is floor. Not talking about R. Kelly. Like, oh, yo, yeah, yeah. That, R. Kelly talent was God giving. Man, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, man is floor. Yeah. It, it's yeah. just, you know what, the money. The the, the the lifestyle, just everything just messed it up for him that. because he just took advantage I, I, of it. I, I yeah. Because he was him. I know I know some people can't he separate him. Too. I can separate too. Like I don't like when I listen to R. Kelly record, I don't think about R. Kelly. No, no, no. I don't think about I don't think about that. Nobody 
Nobody that's a real fan doesn't think about that shit. Do you know, like, you know I, mean? I don't know if that's a thing for DJs, but do, when you're doing like a party or a wedding or something, do you ask them if they want R. Kelly not to be played? Who does oh. not want to play what? Step in the Name of Love? Step it? in the Name of Love got to they get they always of course. Want that. Get the hell out of here. Who, are, don't who don't want to hear Step in the Name of Love? I was asking this question before, like, yo, we doing S.E.E. Now I was asking the question, so, all right, so boom, R. Kelly, we can't play R. Kelly, right? We can't play R. Kelly, right? All right, with the puff shit. That's like 75% of hip hop. We no. can't play Uptown Ricky. We can't play on Josie no more. We can't play Biggie because the background. No, no, I'm Mary. just asking. I'm just asking no, Mary. Mary. Oh, man, man. We can't play Mary no more. No, no. I'm saying it can't no, shit. Total? Yeah. yeah. Total. Nah, nah, oh my nah, god. Nah, 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 don't go. Don't go that. You can't deny it. Like there's no cancel shit. Right like, now you can't play you don't hear no R. Kelly on nothing. Yeah, like, I got R. Kelly on hook on here, but yeah, I I yeah, I, 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 so I don't care. I'm, I'm because playing R. they really honestly they don't well, my no, favorite listen, song for R. Song, fuck you tonight. Yo, R, yo, R. Kelly, bro. All night, all night, all night, all day. I don't care. R. Kelly, R. Kelly is that guy. R. Kelly is that guy. And I'm not even mad at it. It sucks. I think I had my first two kids from R. Kelly. But I really like R. Kelly. Like, I really like what you said. Like, the artist and the and the man, the person. Don't hate the artist. There's no denying that. Don't hate the artist. Don't hate the artist. Yeah, just. But I say, like, we fucking with this talent, not the man. Like, this talent's God given. You know what I mean? Him, he men floor. You know what I mean? I, I'm trying to word it the right way to make it sound dope. But yeah, I'm trying to no, work it. I'm trying to work it. We about to sign out, man. May I get you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? <laughs> Bad boy James. Bad boy Bates. Bad boy Bates. Your boy Bad boy Bates. Triple B. Yeah. Bang. Out here. <laughs> Bad boy Bates. <laughs> no, we out. What's your R. Kelly play? I see. This one record, yo, is so dope. R. Kelly calls.